Hi, it's Bonner again. Today I'm going to talk about an app that I discovered from Microsoft that I use on a daily basis. It's very handy. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice to get going with it, but not much, and you can do it. I'm on an Android phone, but this app is also available on iPhone. And I'm going to go into my app screen where I keep this app. The app is called Microsoft Lens. So I'm going to go in here. There's the icon you can see, Microsoft Lens, and I'm going to tap on that. Okay? And so what Microsoft Lens is, is it's a document scanner that runs on your phone. It automatically identifies and outlines the document you have it in front of. As you can see here, it's got an orange outline around the outside of the document. And down here at the bottom of the screen, you've got the Actions menu. Um, it has Actions menu at the bottom. Okay, so it has Actions, Document menu, Whiteboard menu, business card, photo. Okay, so it'll capture all of these kinds of input. I'm using a uh, document because that's what I have in front of it. So there's document. The document men uh, setting has a bunch of built-in presets, so I don't have to adjust a lot of stuff. I just get my orange border lined up around the edge of my document, and I press the white uh, shutter button, just like on your phone software, and now I have a scan of my document. Okay, now you'll notice at this point, the scan doesn't look super, super sharp. Um, I use a, a ring light to light it up, and that's a really good idea, but it's not essential. And, and you'll notice the reason it's not sharp is because my original document is in pencil on a printed worksheet, and we're gonna look at that in a second. So once I have, uh, once it's in here, I can adjust the edges. I'm adjusting the edges so you can see. Uh, uh, lens adjusts the corners for you automatically, but you can adjust them if you like. Uh, in in this one, I've got a little bit of shadow, so I'm going to go back, and I'm going to do this again with and try and get less shadow on it. And there I am doing it again. That's a little better, a little less shadowy. Okay, and I I'm going to accept the perimeter of the document that it's defined, but as you can see. You can move these perimeters, You can, and there I am moving it there, and, or let it snap back to where it was by default. When I've got the perimeter that I want, I press Confirm. Now what it does is it brings the document up, and it estimates what the preset is, what the uh, filter preset is that you want. But, and if you look at the bottom here, you'll see that you have the option to add things to the document, uh, you can filter, you can crop, you can rotate, and there are some more options down here at the bottom. The one I use the most is filters. Right now you can see it's coming up on black and white. Let's go over here. So here's document. Document will give you, typically will give you something very close in image quality to what you originally had from your camera. If you go over to black and white, what it does is it uh, increases the contrast without getting a blurry background. So here I or, or without getting a, a black or, or a noisy background. So here I have the sharpest white background possible and the highest level of contrast possible, which is very, very sharp and much sharper than my original image because my drawings were in pencil. So once I'm on the once I'm on the uh, filter setting that I want, I just click the back button at the bottom of my screen. It accepts, that accepts the filter I've chosen. And then I get this menu again with the big orange done button at the bottom. I'm going to tap that. And then we get the save to screen. So here I have it to, the, at the top, I have the option to give this a title. It'll give it a title, you know, some horrible title that's manufactured by the software. I'm going to um, select that title and I'm going to replace it. I'm going to call this... Uh, I'm going to call this uh, sample scan. And then uh, by default, that's going as a JPEG into the gallery folder on my, uh, on my phone. Um, it'll go by default into wherever your camera images go on the particular phone you're using. In my case, I send everything to the gallery and that's just the default on an Android. You'll notice there are some other options on here. Uh, it'll do, uh, see if I can show them, it'll do gallery, um, you can uh, send it to Google OneDrive and it'll convert it to PDF, you can go to OneNote and it'll uh, add it to my Quick Notes. 
Um, it'll uh, send it as a picture to my Google OneDrive. It'll do a Word OCR. So if you have a text document, it'll try to figure it out and turn it into a Word document, which will save you a little bit of storage. Or uh, I, it can uh, go as a graphic into PowerPoint. I'm just going to save it as a graphic into my local gallery. And I'm going to click Save. And there's my... Uh, there's my folder of saved scans, my scans. And if I click on that, it pops up and I can see that's the image that I just scanned there. Now that's all well and good, but what if my document is uh, a smaller and more precise uh, document? Uh, for example, let's say in my case, I'm often sending uh, lyrics with chords to students. Back to lens with my orange button here. And now I'm back in Lens, and here's the next sheet I want to try, just so that you can see this on a tight sheet. So I'm uh, here's my document. I've got the orange outline around it. It looks like it's pretty well framed. I click the shutter button, and there it is. And again, I can adjust the corners and uh, you know and crop on the fly if I want to. Now I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm going to hit confirm, and there's my document. Okay, there's my uh, lyrics with chords. I can hit filters and I can choose whatever filter I want. If I go back to document, it'll give me the contrast and brightness that originally was there. Um, if I go to none, this is what it looked like in the camera, slightly lightened in the camera. If I go to document, it's digitally corrected. And if I go to black and white, it's brought to the highest level of contrast without noise that can be attained. I'm going to stick with black and white. I hit my little back button at the bottom to go back to this uh, menu screen and uh, get back to my main actions menu, which uh, has the done button here. I tap the done button. Again, I go to my uh, title and save to screen. I'm going to select all. and I'm going to give this a, uh, a name. Uh, Farmer Lyrics. And then I my little blue check mark. It's Farmer Lyrics. It's going into Gallery. Now, because this is a typed sheet, I could turn it into a Word document. But I don't. it's not essential to me to do that. So I'm, I don't fuss with that because that's another stage of machine uh, interpretation. Um, I'm quite happy with a JPEG. That's small enough that I can send it by email or whatever. I hit my Save button. And here is my finished document here. And you can see, as I zoom into it, it's quite sharp. It's very, very legible. It's more than good enough for my students to use. Okay, that's Microsoft Lens. I use it all the time. It's a free app. It's one of the best things for Microsoft that I've ever used, to be entirely honest. Uh, I hope that's helpful to you. If you're not using uh, a good, uh, if you're not using a good camera-based scanner right now, you need to because it gets you out of using a flatbed scanner and uh, this is a fantastic uh, i think this is a fantastic app i hope it's helpful for you if you enjoy the video uh please click on like please subscribe i don't do tool videos all the time but i have a few of them on my channel and i am adding to them from time to time so check back with me again if you're looking for uh, tool videos. Um, mostly it's guitar instruction on Bonner Guitar Channel. So please subscribe if you're interested in guitar and come on back and visit me soon.